I still don't have an intro, but who needs one? Hey everybody, this is Alvzy Sprocket here. And today we're doing another unboxing. Um, but this time something a little, slightly different. Uh, in the past, I've done a little bit of magic cards. I've done, like, uh, I opened up the Hate Core game. Um, and those are all fun and all, but recently I have been getting back into building up my Warhammer army, because I'm a big nerd like that. I just smacked the camera. Apologies. Um, <laughs> and I've been... I'm a Space Marine player, because how could you not be? They're, you know, they're Space Marines. You've all seen the memes. Um, and I ordered a few things off of a couple different sites, mostly Amazon, um, but a little bit of Miniature Market and uh, Troll Horde games. Uh, big shout out to all of them. I'm not sponsored by any of them, but they've got cool minis available, so I bought them right up. Um, <laughs> and on Amazon, I bought what was supposed to be a unit of Space Marine Scouts. Um, because I bought... I'll show it off in this one. I got, got a Land Speeder Storm to use, and that works great with the unit of Scouts. Um, I'll open up that in a different video. But... I ordered Scouts with Sniper Rifles in order to... Uh, use like the open top rule and that's all a bunch of boring stuff. If you're here for how cool the minis look, I mean, I can't blame you. That's part of the reason that I, that's most of the reason that I uh, play this. So I ordered these guys, scouts with sniper rifles. Pretty simple, five models, um, all of them with sniper rifles. You can give one of them a missile launcher. You know, you're pretty bog standard scouts. Um, that is what I ordered. This is not that original order. I bought this afterwards because what I received was something a little different. Amazon sent me these. If you don't know, these are Primaris Eliminators. These are an elite unit of sniper infantry as opposed to the, you know, standard scout infantry. They are way more expensive uh, point-wise. They're way cooler guys. And, um, well, how do I say this? They're way more valuable than those other guys. Because, you see, scouts, the unit of scouts I have there, are sitting around somewhere 2890 typically. You know, a little under $30. Primaris Eliminators are $50. Now, at first you might be like, oh, that sucks. They, they gave you the wrong thing and probably charged you for the this thing instead no 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 this is where the fun begins they sent me eliminators and charged me for scouts so thank you amazon for the free twenty dollars and uh the cool minis that i probably would never have had the the stupidity or the brains or the anything to buy in the first place but if you're gonna send them to me i'll take them um <laughs> so that was pretty awesome so, we're going to open them up, because I'm kind of excited. You know, the thing I didn't expect to be ordering, of course, that's the thing that's most exciting. It's like a, it's a surprise. Get the old plastic killer, as is standard now in these videos. Let's see. If I can open up this corner here. Obviously, as with a lot of... I don't know if it's necessarily just Warhammer stuff, or if it's, you know, just typical Amazon stuff in general. Uh, corners are a little beat up and stuff, but hey, what can you do? Get that plastic off of there. Beautiful. Go ahead and put that right there for you all to see. I can actually do a bit of that action. Um, but then I'm covering it up with my hand. I'll do this for the thumbnail. Perfect. <laughs> that's that's the way I get my thumbnails, if you guys didn't realize at this point. I try to get a clip from the game or from the box or something. That way I'm not infringing on anyone's copyright. You know, that's a that's a scary thing to be messing with. So we've got the back of the box, of course. We can they got a few different weapon variants, which we'll definitely be looking at because some of them are pretty pretty good. They've got their awesome cloaks. They've got 
cool looking Primaris armor. They've got massive sniper rifles. They are super cool dudes. Let's open up the box and take a look. If I can get my thumb in there. Also, if you watched the last video, um, <laughs> you'll notice the camera's actually focusing this time. I realized I'm a dummy. It was focusing on the DM screen I was using as a background <laughs> and not the cards or anything. So I bet if I grabbed one of those cards now, you'd be able to see it without a problem. But that's kind of a hard video to reshoot, so I put it up as is. But you guys aren't here for that. You're here for this. Ah, look at them all. We got three little sprues there. You know, your standard uh, 32 mil bases. So that's good. I have bought minis in the past and had an unfortunate situation where they didn't send me any bases for them, which that sucked, but luckily that has that only happened the once. And look here, you can see all the beautiful boys on their sprues. Got your sniper rifles, got some armor, some cloaks. They're pretty rad dudes, aren't they? And here we've got some more bits and bobs. Nice, nice, nice. Got your transfer sheet for... Are these Ultramarine? Yeah, Ultramarine transfer sheets. I don't play Ultramarines, but I'm sure I'll find someone who probably does, and I can hand that off to them. Or just make my army into Ultramarines at some point, maybe. I don't know. Probably not. And we got our instructions, which we probably won't be using at all. But the one thing it's good for is just to not totally mess up some hands and stuff. Because I have, on occasion, <laughs> given people totally wrong hands and it, it works out a little funky. Um, and we got the rules for the uh, unit on the back. It unfortunately doesn't have um, point costs, which is too bad. Um, let me see. Yeah, no. Use alongside the core rules. For the full rules on the unit, see the codex. Yeah. But they've got very good stats. They're very strong dudes. Um, I'm excited to uh, get them all put together and put them on the battlefield. Now, I believe the rules we're going for here... If I can get it to focus, 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 focus. Um, gee, I can't see that. That's unfortunate. Uh, but basically, one of these two sniper rifles here are the big ones that we want. Uh, the sergeant we want, I think it's that sniper rifle. And the other two we want this one. Because they have some pretty funky rules. Let's see. I bet the um, instructions will tell us um, which one's the sergeant. Space Marine Primaris Eliminators. The sergeant. So this is the sergeant. So... He's a. These models are very easy, by the way. Like, they're like less than 10 parts, which is pretty crazy. Although, obviously, there are more bits and pieces thrown on. Most of it's like cloak stuff, which is kind of funky. Um, yeah, so that's the normal option is. Shoot, which one is it? Assembles for build variants are color coded. B, C, D, and E. Are these B, C, D, and E? No. It's probably going to be a moment for me to uh, make sure I put the right guns on people, just because I don't want to mess this up. Okay. Um, I did a little bit of research, and it turns out both of the all the snipers have different gun options. We've got the Laz Fusils, which are these ones up here. If you guys can see that, I need to get the box out of the way. The box is causing it to lose focus. Um, yeah, that's the Laz Fusil, and there's the, um, the Bolt Carbines. I'm probably just going to assemble them normally first, uh, without the guns, and then I'll figure that out. So I'll probably time-lapse this bit so you guys don't have to sit here and very slowly make miniatures. You guys get to see it in fast motion. Before I begin, uh, I've got my trusty X-Acto knife, which, you know, you're probably not supposed to use as uh, recklessly as I do. Um, and my super glue, because I don't have any other better adhesive. But it works okay for me. 
course, now that I say that, something terrible is going to happen. But yeah, let's get started. Just going to do a quick interruption here to uh, remind you guys that if you do not clean up the uh, plastic bits on your minis where the sprues come off of it, you are making a terrible mistake. You should always clean those up. It makes the model look so much nicer for just a small amount of a little extra effort because they don't have little bits hanging off of them. I got some old models that I didn't do that with my first little uh, group of guys and uh, they definitely look a little funky with little bits hanging off their shoulder pads and everything. Okay, so I've got the three main guys. Three main guys. There's only three of them, so they're all main guys. They're they're cool guys. They deserve to be main guys. Um, I'll put together here. Um, the sergeant here has a bit of funkiness with his feet. I don't know why he's um. I don't know if you guys can really see that on there, but his feet have kind of a weird um. They have these blocks on them. My guess is it must be for the base that he stands on. Um, and what we're going to want to put on him is the carbine. I just got to figure out which one that is. Um, I think I can figure it out from this. Um, and then the other guys, I'll have to take a look and see what I want them to have. I'm probably going to do the snipe rifles, the bolt, bolt rifles, but... I don't know for sure yet. 
Uh, but yeah, so if you're... If you happen to have the money to uh, splurge and pick up one of these packs, I would recommend it. Uh, if for no other reason, then these minis look very cool. I mean, I love those cloaks on them. That's an awesome look. Um, and then in the game, they're pretty awesome, from what I have read. Uh, yeah. Um, I did go up, end up going by the instructions a little more than I expected. Just because they're, there's not a whole lot of pose options for them, uh, body and leg wise. But normally there isn't a whole lot for uh, this kind of stuff anyway. The old tactical marine, blah, 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 the old tactical marines, yeah, uh, that's what they're called. They used to be pretty good at posing just because the torsos were distinct from the uh, legs. But as you probably saw in this, just in that quick little time lapse, the like, the torso and the leg are all together like one piece, and then like the back is a piece, and then there's another leg that's a separate piece. So you can't really pose them too funkaliciously, which is a, a bit of a shame. But um, still, very good looking models. I'm very excited to get them put together. What I'm probably going to do is actually do a cut here, and then I'll bring you guys back in once I have them all put together. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you guys when I get to that. Okay, so we're back sometime later, about 12 hours and uh, one restart later, um, but we're back to the table uh, to continue looking at the Primaris Eliminators. So, let's do a little bit of comparison because I've also finished my scouts. Let's start with the Sergeant. Pretty awesome looking dude. Uh, we've got him equipped with the Carbine, um, and as you can see, he is looking very splendorous, very cool. Just gonna slowly rotate him with my fingers. And yeah, you can see he is a pretty cool looking dude and a pretty huge looking mini, all things considered. And he is backed up by his two compadres here. They're looking pretty great. I went for the uh, carbine on the sergeant and the bolt rifles on the two, on his two uh, buddies. The other option were the las fusils which uh, were these, these guns right here. Um, but I think the bolt uh, rifles are cooler just because different ammo types. And as you can see, these are some great looking guys. They come with a bit of terrain to kind of scatter around them. They come on these big bases. Um, not just the big bases, but the um, there's little terrain bits that knock into their feet and stuff, which is pretty cool. Uh, I don't know how well you can see the face there, but they've got some awesome looking uh, hoods and robes. Uh, kind of, sort of, like, maybe Dark Angels, Adeptus Mechanicus kind of look to them. So if you have an army like that, they could be good for a good kit bash like that. And speaking of kit bashing, um... In this set, you do get a bunch of spare arms, a bunch of spare weapons, obviously, as you saw there, and a bunch of spare heads. Um, some of them, like this one, I don't know if you can really see that one all that well, but it's got the hood, it's got the whole, like, it's got goggles, hood, very cool look. And in the right army, just the extra bits can make for some pretty cool stuff. Uh, so let's set them over to this side. Uh, cool dudes over there. And uh, <laughs> just to show a little bit of perspective, I brought these scouts along. <laughs> That's not a camera trick. That's the complete difference between the look of the poor little baby scouts versus these massive hulking Primaris Marines. We got five scouts versus the three Primaris. And um, as you can see, like... Just from this view alone, uh, <laughs> they are huge. They're way bigger than the scouts and re the regular space marines as well. Um, as for the actual unit of scouts I got, they were pretty good. I mean, the one problem I have with these these scouts over here, um, they look nice. Their goggles are an absolute pain. I don't know if you can even really see the goggles on my webcam, but goggles, absolute pain. And some of the 
gun arms are a little bit funky, but um, they're all sorted out and they look pretty good. And I mean, if I didn't accidentally get a unit of these guys, I would definitely be interested in using these scouts for uh, pretty much any army that I put together. And I think I still am going to use maybe both of them together, maybe swap them out with each other. No, don't know for sure yet, but this is going to be fun to check out. But let's take our sergeant and the scout sergeant and just put them side by side. And you can really see the difference uh, just size-wise and de kind of detail-wise with the models. You can tell that Games Workshop put a lot of you know, work into making the Primaris Marines look like these big badasses that the old the old guys just can't really, you know, shake up to. The old guard. They they got some work on their hands. Um but yeah, so I'm pretty happy with my accidentally getting a fifty dollar thing of minis for thirty dollars. That was that's pretty good. I'll take that any day of the week. Especially when they're cool sniper guys um and i hope you guys enjoyed me just kind of you know chilling open up some warhammer stuff and uh putting together some minis if you guys want to see some more of this let me know because i'll probably be getting a couple more <laughs> minis here and there uh <laughs> for my bank account's sake i probably shouldn't get as many as i want to but we'll see um and then if you guys want to see me like hang out and paint them or whatever let me know about that too and if you hate warhammer and hate miniatures and hate everything about this video well thanks for watching this like 15 to 20 minutes but um <laughs> i totally get that too and uh there will definitely be more gaming stuff and other things in the future as well so thank you all so much for watching remember to be nice to your delivery people and be awesome out there and i'll see you in the next one see you guys